Hi, my name is Jensen Harris, and I'm on the Windows User Experience team. And today I want to show you a few of the new features that are in the Windows 8.1 preview. I want to start on the lock screen. We've turned the lock screen into this beautiful cloud-powered photo frame that brings together pictures from your PC, from SkyDrive, and from your phone, all into one place. And here we are on the new Windows 8.1 start screen. Immediately, you can see that we've added a couple of new tile sizes. We have this large tile that we're using here for weather. Or imagine that this large tile can also show you a few mails or your entire day of calendar appointments. We've also added the small tile size, which lets you create a very efficient start screen. One thing we've improved in Windows 8.1 is the All Apps screen. I just swipe up, and I see a list of all of the apps on my PC. I can sort this list to see my most used apps, for instance, or I can sort them by category, such as games or news, or maybe I just want to see the most recently installed apps from the store. To pin an app to the Start screen, I'm going to just press and hold and choose Pin to Start. Now if I want to rearrange the Start screen, I press and hold the same way, and I can even select a few apps at once. Once I've selected the apps, I can pick them all up at the same time and move them where I want them. And then I'm going to name the group, and I've got a Start screen that looks just the way I want it to. We've also added personalization options. We let you select from a whole rainbow of colors now, so you can match your favorite sports team or just choose your favorite color. We've also added these awesome new motion accents, like this dragon that actually follows your finger and moves in the background. The tail extends down into the All Apps screen. It's pretty cool. We've also added the ability to let you choose to put the desktop wallpaper right behind Start. One of my favorite new features in Windows 8.1 is the new search feature. I'm going to start by typing in a web query, like Marilyn Monroe. We've created a beautiful, curated, app-like experience that brings together everything on the PC and on the web in one place. Heroes can contain information, images, links to other queries, actions that I can do directly from the hero. It brings back beautiful web results that show you exactly what the web page is going to look like when you open it. Image search that has rich tools that let you do things like choose exactly what color of image you want to bring back, or the size, or that you just want to see faces. To show this in another example, I'm just going to open up search and type SK. And you can see everything you can do on the PC in one pane. You can see I could launch apps like SkyDrive and Skype, I could directly play music. It brings back web results. Everything is right there under my fingertips. That's the power of Windows Search. Windows 8.1 is powered by the cloud. An important part of this is SkyDrive, which gives you gigs of space to put all of your files up in the cloud so that they're available on every PC. Within every app on the PC, I can see SkyDrive, which is the cloud, and this PC, which lets me put files that I just want to keep on this device in a single place. We've also made it really easy to multitask in Windows 8.1. For instance, here I am in the Mail app. I'm going to tap Open, and it's going to open up the Photos app side by side, automatically with Mail. Now, I can choose the size of these two apps. I can split the space evenly. I can make one big and one small. But these are real running apps. I can flip through the photos. I can do lightweight photo editing if I want to make this look a little bit prettier. And if I have a larger screen, I can put two, three, even four apps on the screen at once. These are just a few of the new features in the Windows 8.1 preview. I hope you'll check it out yourself when it's available June 26th.